Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Leet. Now let's count how many premium Russian heavy tanks we will have in the game. So we have the KV-220, the Churchill Mark III, the Object 244, that's the IS-1 prototype, the IS-5, also known as the Object 730, the IS-6, the KV-5, the Object 260, and the IS-2 Berlin. So that's eight already. That's a lot. And today we'll add one more to the list of premium Russian heavy tank. It is the Object 777. So this tank is going to be a tier 10 premium Russian heavy tank and will likely be the reward for Clan Wars this upcoming season or the second season of campaign missions like the Object 260 for the first season. But I doubt it because we already have the Object 260 as the first season campaign mission reward. It's nonsensical to have the same type of tank for the second season as the final reward. So it's likely going to be a Clan Wars reward, but whatever. So here's a little history about the Object 777. This is a heavy tank prototype designed to suit the needs of the Soviets in the early 50s. So during that time, the Soviets were thinking about ways to combat the British-made Conqueror or the American M103, just in case the Cold War breaks out. But nothing came out of it because they were following main battle tank doctrines, so the use of medium tanks as fast mobile attack vehicles, and stuff like the anti-tank guided missiles makes heavy tank designs kind of useless, and heavy tanks were not effective because they destroy your own bridges and roadways, whereas main battle tanks like medium tanks were more effective, and the firepower was sufficient enough. So, yeah, heavy tanks were phased out in favor of main battle tanks. But as you can see, the Object 777 is a big tank. It has seven pairs of road wheels. It used the same 122mm that's on the IS-4, as well as the IS-8. But it looks almost American, based on the anti-aircraft mini turret. It's a flat, very flat IS-4, looks like it. But it's a heavy tank, so it's Russian. It has a hemispherical cast turret, so that's Russian. The hull armor is sloped and long, so Russian IS tank has the same feature. But yeah, this tank is flat. It's a lot smaller than the IS-4 or the IS-7, so smaller silhouette. It also has a special mini turret with a 14.5mm machine gun for anti-aircraft. So right here, this is actually remote controlled. So when they modeled this tank in the game, this is actually space armor because it's remote controlled. There's nobody in here. So that's kind of funny, but it looks American almost because the tumor on the turret, whatever. So here's an in-game screenshot. It has 122 millimeter. That's on the IS-4, IS-8, STI, same thing. But I thought this was the ass of the vehicle. Turns out it's the front. <laughs> it's a flat vehicle. There's no distinctive feature about this tank. That's crazy. But during that time, in the early 50s and mid 50s, heavy tank designs were phased out because main battle tanks were coming into play. So tanks like the T-54 and the T-62s were more efficient because they're smaller, faster, they don't destroy your own bridges or roadways, and the gun firepower is mostly sufficient enough. And the introduction of anti-tank guided missiles and other stuff means that heavy tanks were lacking behind. So we have a lot of Russian designed heavy tanks, but they never actually made it. So like the Object 770, this is um, an autoloading IS-4. So it has an autoloader with the same 122mm gun, but Nothing came out of it. Here is the Object 753. It has a mechanized AMORAC system that's on the IS-3 that we saw, as well as the T-10 heavy tank. So here is the AMORAC. You step on a pedal and the ammo goes up into the gun breech. Yeah, we saw this before. Here is the <laughs> Object 279. It is designed to go over special terrains like mountainous areas, whereas other heavy tanks will have a lot of problem based on the track design. 
and the hull armor is very well sloped against heat shells, but yeah, it takes a lot of resource to produce one of these where you could just produce like T-54s or T-34-85s. So there's only one surviving or one designed and this is in Kupinka, Russia. So it's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun t I would love it if they put this thing into the game. And they were developing T-10 heavy tanks during that time. So here it is. The T-10 heavy tank is the IS-8, also known as the IS-10 or T-10 heavy tank. So during this time, the T-10s weren't as popular as the main battle tanks, the T-62s and the T-54s because of the speed. And the firepower was not that greater than those medium tanks. So most T-10s were produced and then stored in hopes of defending Russia against invasions, but were never actually sold to the likes of the other Arab countries, whereas the T-54s and T-62s were mainly sold to other countries because they were more popular. The heavy tanks, heavy tanks were mostly phased out, so that's the change in tank warfare doctrine. So that kind of sucks, but the Object 777 is one of them. So a dying breed of tanks introduction into the Cold War. So wah wah wah. And here are the in-game models for the Object 777. As you can see, it's a very flat vehicle. It has the upgraded 122mm gun that's on the IS-4 and the IS-8. So based on the muzzle brake, and it has well sloped frontal armor. So yeah, it's a small vehicle. Silhouette is a lot smaller than the likes of IS-4s or the IS-7s, but the size based from top to bottom view is the same based on the number of road wheels. So this tank will still get hurt by artillery because it's the same surface area from top to bottom point of view. So artillery does hurt. Now what is interesting is the mini turret with the 14.5mm machine gun, that's for anti-aircraft purposes, and they modeled it as space armor. So this is actually remote controlled, not part of the crew, so they put it as space armor on the back of the turret. That's kind of interesting, but the engine deck is still pretty huge, so getting shot here means you will catch on fire and take like 2000 damage, so that sucks. But as you can see with the collision model, it's a Skittles bag of armor values. <laughs> There's a lot of like different plates on this thing, like with different armor values. Even on the side armor too, there's like a strip of 200 millimeters, whereas the rest is like 170-ish. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It's almost American in my opinion, based on the pseudo turret on the back and uh, a lot of rainbows on the front of the hull. Side armor is also not as good. So as you can see, the side armor is about 170-ish millimeters. So it doesn't have the space armor that's on the IS series. So that sucks. But it's a small vehicle. So the tracks cover a lot of the side armor. So that's good. All right. Ass armor is crap. <laughs> There's no armor on the ass of this thing. So it's only like 45 millimeters. That kind of sucks. But here are the in game stats for the Object 777. As you can see, it's going to be a tier 10 special Russian heavy tank. So, Clan Wars reward. It has 2100 health, which is average because that's about the same as the IS 4, I believe. I, or IS 4 could have like 2300. But it's on the average, so. Almost the same as the IS-7, I believe. Engine power is 850, weighs about 50 tons. So the power to weight ratio is 17.07, which is pretty decent. But compared to the likes of Object 260, yeah, whatever. So that's still pretty decent against the stuff like a mouse or E100. But all right. Maximum top speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Reverse is 16, which is pretty good. Hull traverse is only 25 degrees per second, which is not that good, but on par with heavy tanks. Turret traverse is only 24 degrees per second, so you cannot play this thing like a medium tank. Terrain resistance is 1.25 for hard, 1.7 for medium, and almost 3 for soft. 
So this thing will get bogged down. That kind of sucks, but the power to weight ratio and the top speed will help. So, alright, view range is 390, which is average. Radio range is 850, which is above average, way better, but eh, as long as you have 700 meters of radio range, that should be fine. Hull armor is 132 at the front, but based on the picture with the Skittles bag collision model, it's not exactly 132, so it's all sorts of weird on the hull armor. 115 on the sides and 45 at the rear. Turret armor is 258 at the front, 225 at the rear, and 75 at the end. So, yeah. Armor wise, it's well sloped, so it will bounce a few shots. The gun is upgraded 122mm, does 440 damage per shot, and penetrates almost 260mm. But the DPM is really crap. Only 1800. That's god awful. The average DPM for tier 10 heavy tanks is 2400 to 2500 or so. That's really low. <laughs> The IS-8 could shoot this gun at 5.3 rounds per minute. This tank could only shoot about 4.2 rounds per minute. That's a really bad DPM, really bad. Accuracy is 0.37, which is decent for Russian guns because on average is about 0.39 or so, so that's still decent. Aim time is 3.26 seconds, which is not that good, but it's Russian. And gun depression is 3 degrees. <laughs> That's gonna be rough. But this tank is so small, so it's it's fine. It's alright. And let's compare the Object 777 with some heavy tanks at tier 10. Now the armor is a Skittles bag worth of rainbows, so it's hard to say how good the armor is without actually shooting at it. So let's skip the armor for now and compare the other stats like mobility and guns. So in comparison with health, it has below average health for tier 10 heavy tanks because the average is 2400 health. It has only 2100. I did not know the IS-4 has 2500 health. That's crazy. But it's 50 less than the IS-7. So health wise, it's more like a tier 10 medium tank. Power to weight ratio is a lot better than the average. The average is 12.8. This tank has 17.07, so it's a little bit more mobile. Top speed is pretty good. 7 kilometers above average. Reverse is also pretty good. Hull traverse is below average by 3.5 degrees per second, so it doesn't turn as well. Terrain resistance is also not as good. It's 1.1 for average on hard surfaces. Average 1.3 for medium and average 2.3 for soft, so this tank will get bogged down in comparison to other heavy tanks, so that sucks. View range is 10 meters below average, which sucks. Radio range is above average, but anything above 700 is pretty good. So yeah, mobility wise, it has the power to weight ratio, it has the top speed, but the terrain resistance is lacking. So is the hull traverse. Yeah, that kind of sucks. The turret traverse is below average as well, 27.6 degrees per second, that's the average compared to 24. So the mobility is not that good, not that good. Yeah, Alright, the gun is the same gun that's on the IS-4, so the average penetration is 250, so decent penetration. Damage is below average because the average damage is about 500, so this is 60 below average. Alright, DPM is way below average because it's 2500, this tank has 1800. So, yeah, the DPM is really crap. <laughs> really crap, they need to buff this DPM, that's terrible, that's really bad. Accuracy is not as good as the IS-4. And the average accuracy is 0.35, so 0.37 is pretty crap. Aim time is also not as good as the IS-4, 3.26 seconds in comparison to 2.8-ish. And the average is 2.6, so that sucks. 
and the gun depression is not that good. Only 3 degrees in comparison to like the average about 6.5 degrees. So the gun sucks. The mobility is even or so based on the mobility on the power to weight ratio and the terrain resistance. So trade off. Wow. So the armor must be super good. Otherwise this tank is just average. Really average. Let's see, the Skittles, in comparison to the likes of the IS-8 or the IS-4. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, it is about 200, it's on the beak, so the Skittles bag armor needs to be tested before we can say if the armor is good. But the 3 degrees of gun depression means that you cannot use the armor that effectively. Because your gun cannot even point the gun downwards, so rough, rough, rough. And the final opinion about the Object 777 is that this tank is a Skittles bag of randomness because it wants to be a medium tank. It really wants to be a medium tank based on the power to weight ratio, which is pretty good. And the top speed is pretty good, but the traverse is crap if you want to be a medium tank. So it cannot brawl based on the traverse, the side armor is not that good, and the whole armor package is rainbows. So some spots you penetrate, some you don't, so it's hard to tell and not reliable. And the terrain resistance is not that good, so you get bogged down. The DPM is really bad for brawling, so ugh. And the gun depression is only 3 degrees. Accuracy is 0 0.37, which is not that good. And the aim time is 3.2 seconds, so yeah. So this tank wants to be a medium tank, but there's a better suitor, which is the Object 260. So the main problem I have with this tank is the DPM. The rest of this tank is all right. The mobility could be uh, okay-ish. You could side scrape, but whatever. So the main problem is the DPM. The DPM is pretty crap. And one problem I found when um, looking at this tank is the size. Now, you might think the smaller silhouette for the tank is good, but when you're face hugging, like against American T110 E5, he has the gun depression to shoot up to down into the top of your hull and penetrate without going through your frontal armor. So the top of your tank is pretty crap, and he could just shoot up to down because his tank is a lot taller than your tank. So that just ignores your armor values and your tank means nothing, right? And he has the DPM with his 120mm gun to chew through your armor and your health and you don't have that much health to play around with. So this tank wants to be a medium tank as a heavy but really fails because the Object 260 is way better. It even has a better power to weight ratio and a better penetrating gun, so... Yeah, it's rough. It's really rough. So would you get this tank when it comes to Clan Wars reward? Now, if you choose this tank over the Object 907, the M60 Pan, or the VK Lion Thing Majig, whatever, whatever that thing is called. So I would rather choose the Object 907 or the M60 Pan because this tank is not really that worth it. It wants to be a medium tank. It has a Skittles, a lot of Skittles for the armor value, but really fails in the traverse and the terrain resistance and the gun depression. So can I use this tank's armor fully? And if anyone's taller than you, they shoot up to down into the top of your hull and you get wrecked. And you don't have the health to play around with too. So yeah, choose the Object 907 or the M60 pad. This could be skipped until later. But thank you guys for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to me on YouTube for more leaked videos about World of Tanks or any other games I play. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I streams on Friday on Twitch. And if you like this video and want to support the channel, consider donating via Patreon because I don't use ads or other crap, I don't have sponsors, no networks, nothing. So if you want to support the channel, I highly appreciate donating by Patreon. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.